Hi everyone, welcome to X's and O's with Leroy Butler. We are going to look at a play from the New England game. I forgot to write down when it was, but it was first quarter, I believe, and um, it's basically a screenplay. And we, yeah. We've talked a lot about screenplays and how the Packers run, call a lot of them, but they yeah. don't necessarily throw to them. That's true. But the reason we're showing this play is because it's really an example of good defense, mm -hmm. a good, good call, the play is stopped, and it all comes down to what Aaron Rodgers does. Yeah, what do you do now? Okay, so we'll start out. Jordy Nelson goes in motion from the left side, winds up here. Yeah. Brandon Browner's on him, and he winds up here. Right. Okay, so we take them out of the play. On the left side here, we got Randall Cobb, and he's covered by Darrell Rivas, and he's going to just run an out route here. Yep. Jarrett Boykin's just going to run downfield. Mm -hmm. And then here's what we got now. And this is going to be a screen to the right. So why don't you go ahead and take it from here. Now right here, one thing with Rodgers, when he goes through his progression, he wants to find out when... There you Jordan, can see, yeah. When Jordan Nelson comes in motion, basically did somebody follow him in his mind of his man or zone. Now, again, this offensive line don't get enough credit. They really don't. But here's where you have to sometimes fool a guy for a screen. And we've talked about that before. So when, uh, when, when Nelson comes up and go across. Comes back all the way across. Now he goes across. all the way across. And for some reason, and then Brown just kind of stops right there. He passes him off, really. He passes him to off to 91. To 91, and then he's just kind of out of the picture. Now, when you run a screen, Rodgers kind of looks this way to get the defense kind of flowing. Mm -hmm. And then it was just a one-man screen. Which is uh, unusual. Which, which is really unusual. This guy just kind of, you know, came a up. Block and block here. Yeah. And then uh, Stark steps up and comes out. Now, when Lane goes here, this guy, that's why he's in red, he kind of follows. He read it. He saw he it. Read he it. read your rules yep. about follow the guard. Follow the guard. The guard, guard always guard takes take you where it's supposed to go. But 54... He just kind of, uh, he came up and put him in blue. But he read the screen, He too. read the screen as well. So he's kind of over here. He just kind of followed. And I left this middle here. But so the point right here, um, I think we can see it there, is that um, they played this perfect. Yep. They got Nelson on the crosser. This yep. guy, 91, winds up taking Nelson. Absolutely. They got Starks covered with 94 and 54. Right. This play's dead until yeah. you see what Aaron Rodgers does. And I mean, you can show that on, on the next um, frame. There he goes. He's, yeah, he he's just takes running. off. He takes off, but at the same time, it was like I said, it was third and long or second and long, or first and long, on screens, long yardage in defense's mind, that's when screens run. Right. Long yards, first, second, or third down, long yardage. So they played it perfectly. Follow the guard, yep. pass him off. They did everything. But Rodgers, having the athletic ability, runs up and just to get a chunk of the yard. They keep 17 getting, yards on and third and 18, you know, or second and 18, whatever it was. It was yeah, second and 18, it made it 31. I think for the most part, if you look at it, most quarterbacks – They'll hold the ball and they to get sacked. Now, sometimes Rodgers doesn't hold the ball, but sometimes you, when it opens up like that, you got to take off. Yeah. Yeah. I, and get I, what you can get. I love this play because it's good offense, good defense, and yep. it comes down to the quarterback making the decision. Hey, hey, and that's the where, defense gets paid too. Right. right. And you're not going to get everything. And sometimes people on television, you can't see all of this. Right. So that's why now we can show you what this, why the screen didn't work. And that's called the guy fall to guard. Right, and this just emphasizes Rodgers' running ability is kind of Absolutely. what's separating him from some of the other quarterbacks in the NFL. Yeah, you got to be mobile. I mean, and that's that between him and Tom Brady. Yep. You know, being mobile does help, and it's scary for the defense. You know, you got a quarterback that can run at any time. And next, we're going to look at another wrinkle in the Packers' offense. Okay, now we're going to look at a play with Randall Cobb in the backfield. And this mm -hmm. is really a, uh, another, you talked about creative, um, yep. a, a creative use of Randall Cobb. And to the dilemma, I think, for the defense, mm -hmm. and you can verify if this is correct, is that you have a wide receiver here mm -hmm. who's playing running back. Right. So you can either keep an extra defensive back in mm -hmm. and treat him like a wide receiver, or you can put another linebacker here and treat him as a running back. But mm -hmm. if you treat him as a running back, 
they could motion him out here, right? Absolutely. And then all of a sudden you're not in the right personnel. Absolutely. So it's and really you know, an advantage to. You, it to really do that. is, Tom. Because guess what? They can run the ball. Right. Right. Which and they have in done. this situation, they right. could have too. We'll yeah, show. So, yeah. Because they have what? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I think they had six defensive backs. Yeah, but they got, remember they got Joker personnel, which is four wide receivers, one, two, three, four, and one tight end, Rodgers. Yes. Now, he's man-to-man. -man. He's out there with a linebacker. And some, right. Some quarterbacks like that matchup, a tight end, if that was Jermichael Finley, then you throw it for a bomb, but right. not. What you're trying to see in, on the when we have it circled on the video. Okay, if you're sure on the – yeah, we show yeah. – these are the two guys who are, are really – this guy Impacted. is covering <laughs> Randall Cobb. But if that was me and Brian Williams, we would double and say amply. I said, Brian, you got him outside, I got him inside. But when you have this bunch formation, it's hard to fight through all this trash to get there, and I think that was very difficult. Okay, so what we have on this side um, is Jordy Nelson running a post. Yep. Adam's kind of running a seam, mm -hmm. and then Boykin running a crosser. Now you can look yep. at on our screen there, and you see Perfect. those routes. Okay, and, so yeah. explain what's <laughs> going on with the coverage now. Yeah, and I think here it's a stress level for 25. He got to fight through this to help out 50. Now Randall Cobb is one with what we call a wheel route. He'll come in and run to the flat and then up. Now, we also got that on video as well. Now, 50 is trying to run with him, but that's not the – if you're in New England, that's not the, the look that you want. But his help, uh, Tom, is right here. And he tries to get through all these guys. He got all trapped. Right, and, and you can works. see this on our video yeah. there. You, see you got both guys – look at the red. Both guys are inside. You like to have one guy outside of that blue so for their construction. Ninkovich with the one arrow in front is mm -hmm. trying to get run with Cobb, and the other guy is trying to get around that bunch with Adams right. and Rivas, and he just, that's a tough thing to do, right? It's, You've it's been a, in that position, right? Absolutely, because again, if it was me and Brian Williams, we'd have to attack. You have to attack Cobb on his outside to make him come inside where I can help you. I can't help you out here. And then after that, to be honest with you, one of the biggest things, you got to make a great throw. And he did it on the run. Right. So Rodgers come in and, you know, because you can, I've seen quarterbacks overthrow, uh, underthrow. But the biggest thing, this is your play. You got to hit it. Because it's designed perfectly. And we'll show the results of this. But it's a good, it's a good game yes. plan for that. So offense. this guy comes, has to come over here. It's too He's late. Too late. No way can a linebacker run no. with Cobb, and this no. is what you see at the end there. Yep. There's Big three play. guys. The safety's on the left there, but he's he's been in the middle, and mm -hmm. he, he's working on something else. So. And it's a big play. It's a third down play, Tom, because right there, if you have to punt or whatever, you're only up 13 to 7. You feel like New England can go down and be up by one. Right. So, right after, so it's a big play on third and five. It's a great design, and I think it's one of these things. Both coaches feel good about it. The execution on defense wasn't as good, and that's what you hope for. And, and if New England's going to play man-to-man -man and they're going to play it all game long, mm -hmm. you know, then you know you're going to be able to get them on some of these bunch Absolutely. formations. And yep. so that's why it was a really good, yep. well-devised play. I agree. And I, I think we'll probably see a little bit more of this as we go along, but maybe mm -hmm. they'll just keep it in their pocket, yep. you know, for the future. And if you put a line, if you put a defensive back down again, they're just going to run the ball. All they would do is double team here, and, you, and this guy go up to the next level. You wouldn't even block fifty and seventy five as your lead guy. Right. Now you got him out, and probably could and have done that want. on that play if Absolutely. they wanted. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that, and we will be back after the Atlanta game. Yep. See you next week.